you're watching Kids Education with Kanek. Do you have friends? Everybody has friends. For example, you guys are my friends right now, right? Friends are fun. They play with you, they enjoy with you, they have fun with you. Even if you have a pet, that is your friend. Because you play with it, don't you? Or you take care of it. So that is your friend. So I have a book and that we're going to read together. And in this book, there's one child named Mana. And he is around six years old, I guess. And he has a big, huge friend named Appu. It's an elephant. And they're enjoying in this book. So let's see how much fun they're having. And the book's name is One Day. So let's start reading the book. Mana is a small boy. He lives in the forest with his father. Mana does not have anybody of his age to play with. But... He has a very dear friend. Today, he is waiting for him. So this is Mana, who is waiting for the big elephant. That's his friend. And these are the birds. Mana's friend is an elephant called Apu. Oh, how big Apu is. What big ears he has! And what a long trunk! This is a long trunk! And the eyes and the tails are small though, right? But it doesn't matter! Mana and Appu go to the river to play. Appu fills his trunk with water and gives his friend a good shower. So here he is showering Mana. So what he does, he pulls the water in his trunk and sprays back out. That's fun. After their bath, Mana stands up. Holding up his ears, he climbs up the trunk and sits on Apu's back. Wow! The two friends now go all over the forest. Look at the pictures and look at the colors the illustrator added. The cute birds. Cool thing about this book is the pictures and the colors, they're just so pretty. They see deer, and they also see many rabbits. All of them seem to be afraid of Apu. Do you know why they're afraid of him? Because he's so big, right? That scares the animals. And I wish I could have a friend like Apu. And I wish I could go through this forest and see all of these animals. The colors are so beautiful. They come to a coconut tree. Ah, oh, what big fruits. But Ma Mana cannot reach them. Apu lifts him up with his trunk. Mana plucks some coconuts. So this is the this is a great example of friends. I mean, they're helping each other out, right? Cause he's small, he can't reach, or he can't climb a tree. Ooh, in this picture, we're going to do a picture walk. A picture walk is basically just looking at the pictures, not reading the words. After we're done, we're going to read the words, okay? Ooh, I know what I see. I see two birds kind of chirping with their mouth open. And I see Mana plucking some bananas from a banana tree this time. Now let's start reading. Now they come to a banana tree. 
they help themselves to a bunch of bananas. Ooh, I would love eating bananas. And drinking some coconut water, of course. Both of them are having a feast. Drinking coconut water and eating bananas. So here he is drinking the coconut water. And look at that sneaky bird. She's just sneaking up in one. So his mouth is full of the bananas, right? Suddenly, they hear a frightening roar. It is a tiger. All the animals are scared of, a, of the tiger. Appu is running away with Man on his back. Oh, look at the tiger. Its big, its, big, its big mouth is open up wide. It's roaring at the animals. But Mana is not scared. He stands upon a boot back and throws a coconut at the tiger. What a brave person, not scared of a tiger. So he's brave in this picture and he's throwing that coconut at that tiger. Appu finds the river in, in the front. He suddenly stops. Mana loses his balance. He slips and takes a toss. So that is like a backflip. So he slips off Ma Apu and then lands in the river, I guess. Looks like. Splash! Mana falls into the river. I was right. Oh my god, he's upside down. Seriously? He pulls Apu into the water. They splash water on each other. What? Fun. Anna and Apu are enjoying their time. Oh, it's time to go home. Oh, they both are so sad because they want to play more, right? They want to have more fun. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Apu waves his trunk. A nice story and what a nice friend. That was a great story. Didn't you like it? Well, I did, of course.